I mean, it's 2020, right? We got to get it while the getting's good. Weather-wise, more storms today. It was mainly for areas east of Nashville. So the uh, I-65 corridor getting a little bit of a break so far. There is the chance for some storms over the next couple hours from the activity that's inching our way from the northeast. So kind of crowded looking on radar. This is a loop over the last six hours. Showers and storms started to fire up around lunchtime. The bulk of it falling across the plateau. At least that was our first wave that came through today. There is another one that's starting to develop to the northeast and that activity is moving towards Nashville. Not an impossible direction for us, but not our typical direction. Also a couple showers and storms moving across western areas as well out towards West Tennessee. At this point, the heaviest rain has been across Monroe County and Cumberland County in Kentucky. Those are just starting to weaken in the last few scans here. Still some lightning across parts of Monroe County. These are being fueled by outflow boundaries. We talk a lot about those in the summer. It's wind. It's just wind that comes out of the thunderstorms and shoots out ahead of it. That wind often helps generate additional storms. Think sibling storms. So that wind is moving through Macon County and is firing up showers and storms towards Hermitage Springs. Eventually this is going to roll through Trousdale. So Trousdale, Sumner, Wilson, you would be next to potentially see some new storms develop as that wind moves towards you. Same thing up into our Kentucky tier. Simpson County, likely a couple storms popping up along Interstate 65. Enough rain has fallen across Monroe and Cumberland that there is a flood advisory there. That's mainly for low lying spots because of the, the runoff and that rainfall combining together. So here's a look. This area here is moving to the southwest. Like I said, not an impossible, but not our typical direction. And it will likely generate some additional showers and storms as it moves towards Interstate 24. Timing for Nashville would be in about an hour and a half. So closer to six o'clock, 530. As we head to into the evening hours, we'll likely see some additional showers and storms come in out of the west as well. So they're coming at us from all directions. Again, not everybody getting rained on at the same time, but those that are, are seeing some pretty efficient downpours. Tomorrow, the activity looks to be even more widespread. We'll have activity around in the morning, the afternoon through the early evening. So 60% chance. That's the highest rain chance we've had all week. It's the highest rain chance you've got in the next seven days as well. Here's a sneak peek with some computer modeling. We'll spend more time on this at five. Spotty storms will continue in the overnight tonight. That's different than what we've seen the last couple days. Not expecting anything severe, but you may hear some rumbles in that overnight time frame with activity becoming more widespread again tomorrow afternoon. Low 70s tonight, still hot with the sunshine around. We actually made it to 94 degrees today. We may flirt with 90 in some spots tomorrow as well. Thankfully, we've got relief set for next week. Vicki, cooler and drier by Monday.